last demonstration, guys, for this project. So technically, I have one extra layer than you will need. You only have to have three layers in your project. And to finish up, we've got to do kind of the same steps, but we're doing them a little bit different. The last step is just a little bit opposite. So I'm going to kind of go over that with you and really explain what's going on here, okay? So I'm going to focus down here um, kind of in this section where I've got most of it completed. I'm going to zoom in video-wise and kind of really show you what I've got going on. So over here in this corner, I've actually got some numbers down to represent my layers. So this whole time that we've been working, we've been concentrating on our shapes. Well, in the end, we get to where we don't really see those shapes anymore. We more look at the layers, the, the negative space that we've created. Uh, your grade, you only have to give me three layers, okay? In my project, I went all the way to four, right? So um, you can kind of see here where I numbered that out. So your very, very top layer is your zero. It has nothing on there, okay? So this one is my number two. So it's a number two because it's my second lightest or my second darkest if you want to call it that <clears throat> then you see where i've got a number three here and then i've got a number four all the way down in here again you don't have to have a fourth layer all you have to demonstrate out is a three okay so to do that and you can see here where i'm going to back up just a little bit so you can get more of a in total view of what i've got going on so basically where you can stop is when you draw in your third set of shapes and some of you have already hit that and you've already done your value blending in here when you hit your third set of shapes you can actually just blacken those in all right so your third set of shapes to repeat what you're going to do is you blacken those in instead of letting them have just a value change here. So I'm going to demonstrate that here. And like I said, this can just be with your third set. For me, I went an extra layer, and this is actually my fourth set of shapes. So I will have four layers total. I'm going to zoom in again just kind of on this area, so you can take a look here. So I have this last shape, and so instead of doing your gradual fading from the edge outline in, now I'm just filling those in solid. And the reason we're doing this is to complete our depth illusion. So if you think of this project almost like the ocean, at the surface layers of the ocean, the sunlight can still penetrate through. So everything is still, you know, light blue, you can see everything. And then as the ocean gets deeper and deeper and deeper, the sun has a harder and harder time to, has a harder, harder time of going um, all the way through those water layers. So it gets darker and darker and darker until you get to the very, you know, ocean floor and there's no light in there at all. And that's where you get your animals, you know, that have evolved or changed to make their own light sources. Well, this is almost kind of, that's kind of an analogy for this because we're basically making it look like we're going down through space. So at our very bottom most, at basically we can make the analogy of our, um, the ocean bottom floor, that's what these shapes are. So that's why they're gonna be a solid, for me, they're gonna be a solid 10. They might be a 10 for you, they may be more of like an eight, seven or an eight. You just kinda get to pick and judge um, how that's gonna look for you, okay? So I'm gonna 
continue on in these little areas. And this is where you've got to kind of slow down and take a look at then what your next negative space would be um, to figure out what layer that is and then what value it's got to be. Yours, uh, if you're stopping at the third layer, yours is not going to look as complicated as mine is right now. Okay, so just kind of working through that. I'm going to move my paper a little bit because um, there's more shapes that I can fill in. Okay, so I recommend that on your last set of shapes, so the only one where you're required is your third set of shapes, just darken those in, okay? And start there. And don't worry about your negative space until after you're done darkening them in. So the point here is you shouldn't have, by the time you're finished with this, you shouldn't have any shapes. I'm gonna make that extend out there so that this all goes together. You shouldn't have any areas that are light, like this one, except for your topmost layer negative space. Okay, so everything will eventually be shaded some in some form or another. Okay. All right. Okay. So now I can kind of start differentiating between my layers and that might take me a little bit. So what I want to start doing is I can help myself by identifying what layers are what by just numbering them and kind of giving myself a roadmap. So this layer is number one because it's my very topmost layer and it's at a zero value. Then I've got to come in and try and kind of figure out, okay, do I have a two pulling through here? Well, I do over here and you can see how it pulls through and goes that way. And then you can see where it comes through this way. But I don't really have a two in this area. Everything's all underneath, okay? So in just looking, I don't have a two, all right? So if I look up here, this is a two. This section here is a two. Well, this one is a three. Okay, so if I look, well, I need to kind of start identifying out. So um, I've got a three over in this corner. So I'm just kind of going to visually follow it. So that means that this is my third layer here. And I have to start figuring out where are my fourth layers. So before that, I'm going to go ahead. I've got my last set of shape in. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in first before I keep moving on. So this is the trick that you need to do to then get all your ducks in a row where you can easily see what's going on, okay? So here we go. And you may notice then that everything kind of comes together. So I'm kind of looking at what I've got going on here and I just darkened this in as part of the shape. And then it's flowing through, if, you, if I you see, it's flowing through here. So really then all of this, Now, let me see here. So here's where I kind of did a mess up. So I said like, oh yeah, all of this is going to equal out, well, I've just disconnected that layer right there. So that's, that's not right. Okay, so what I need to do is I just need to backtrack a little bit. And this is good that I'm showing you this because then if you, if you come across this, this will help. Okay, so what I need to do, that's actually my third layer right there. And now I can continue on. Okay, so I just went back and fixed in that area that I'd kind of made a goof on, and that's okay, you can do that too. 
I'm also gonna, at the very end, blend everything out with my tortillion. All right, so it'll be no problem there, no problem. Okay, so here we go, we've got my three. So like I said, kind of in this area, the only two that I've got going on is this space right here. So I can number that, number two. And the reason I know it's a number two is because it goes underneath my number one, but it's above everything else. So now, now that has really helped me in figuring out, okay, this is gonna be underneath, this is underneath, this is, a, so those are all fours, all of that's fours for me, okay? Again, you don't have to get down to a fourth layer, okay? But my four has gotta be darker than my three, but it's gotta be lighter than my very last shapes. So I can do something like this and I'll really need to darken these shapes up to really get some depth and dimension, okay? Also, look at what's going on with my hand because I'm not putting um, a barrier in between there, so I'm picking up all my value and I'm making a mess, all right? So you really need to make sure that you have your printer paper on top so that it's not gonna mess up um, your your project, okay? So in some of these layers, you've already done a little bit of value in there from previous, like just starting. So you're probably gonna have to go over them with darker values just to make it make sense. Okay, so here I'm hoping you can kind of see, it's a little difficult seeing the value difference between my really, really dark, my third layer and there's my fourth layer. Okay, so it should be darker than a three, but it's lighter than these. So that's where I goofed kind of and told you all yesterday that I got too dark too fast and I needed to go through and erase. Well, here's my reason why, okay? So um, if I keep moving through, if I keep moving through this, then I've identified out that this is a four That's a fourth layer right there. And then, this is kind of what I was talking about earlier. Some of our shapes we still have showing up and they're still light. That's not correct though, because then it's giving the illusion that it's one of these top layers and it isn't, okay? So you guys can kind of see where I put in, um, I colored in uh, number four over here and it continues on into this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and re-correct out some of that value. Just like this. Needs to be lighter than my three. Excuse me, darker than my three, but lighter than my blackout shapes. And so this is a four layer also, you can kind of see. Where I went from here, it's continuing here. So, same. Okay, now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna use my tortillion a little bit uh, to start kind of blending these out and showing you about how, and I'm just gonna kind of concentrate in this area. It's a good area to work through, all right? So with your dark darks, you're gonna use your B pencil as hard as you can. I could probably get darker in this area and I'm also using my tortillion as hard as I can without destroying it. Some of you are having issues with that now and you're coming up and telling me that. Okay, so now I'm working this tortillion to blend it out. Okay, so if we're successful, it should look like we're going down, 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 like down a hole. That's what our project's looking like. I'm gonna darken this up because I had already started getting it darker and then I didn't finish it. Okay, just like this. All right, I'm getting in that four layer. 
Now I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna start blending. Oh, can't see it, sorry guys, here we go. Now I'm gonna start blending. Hopefully I wasn't too out of the frame for too long. I apologize for that. All right, so just kind of observe the time that I'm taking in making sure that I'm getting everything blended out nicely. Okay, so by the end, everything should be nice and blended. Okay, so I'm also gonna do it here in this area. And I'm gonna finish up here. Get it really close, pretty much anywhere where I see a four. I'm gonna go ahead and blend. Okay, so if it is easier for you to number and then go through, you can do that. Now you have to erase your numbers before you get it back to me, okay? So I've got this area pretty well completed we can look again at what layers we've got going on. So we've got one here, and there's our two. Okay, here's the third layer. Now there's my fourth. Okay, and then these last sets of shapes, they just basically look like they're holes, like never, um, but like bottomless pits, okay? All right, so that's how you do that. Again, you only have to show me three layers. So basically you need your very top layer that has no value in it at all. You need your second layer that's a number two, and then your uh, third layer, which I've been saying at a number four, but you could go number six since you only have to show me three layers. But by the time that you're finished, you will not have any shapes that are light like this, okay? None. So if you can see here, I'm gonna back up. So look at the difference. Okay, finished. No light spaces anymore. Not finished. There's still light shape spaces, so I'm not done yet. So none, yes, no. Still need to work on it, okay? Hopefully that explains how to do everything. Really make sure you take your time. Um, I really need to go through and work on my blending more so that it looks nice and smooth, okay? So you just gotta work through that. So three layers total, full value, neatness, and finished. That's all part of this. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end this demonstration. Email me if you have any questions. It's going to be due this next coming up Monday. All right, keep that in mind.